Welcome to How to Receive and Reject a Transfer Manifest. In this training, we will discuss how to receive and reject a transfer manifest and metric. You can receive a partial manifest, meaning you can reject one or more whole packages from a manifest while still accepting part of the manifest. For example, on a manifest of five packages, you could reject two of the packages and still accept the other three packages into your license. You cannot, however, reject part of a package on a manifest. You must either accept the entire package or reject the entire package. For example, if a license was sent a package of 500 grams of Blue Dream Bud, but realized they only needed 300 grams, you cannot just accept what you want from the package. You must either accept the entire 500 grams or reject the 500 gram package. Begin by navigating to the transfers area along the navigation toolbar at the top of your page. Then open the incoming transfers tab. The first one is the transfer we are going to work with. By clicking on the information caret to the left of the transfer, we can find out additional data about the transfer and the products on it. When it expands, we can see the packages included on the manifest. We can also expand the information on the packages included on the transfer and see the lab results on that incoming package by clicking on the lab results tab. You can see all the testing that has been completed on the package and the results associated with it. Or you can click on the history tab and open it to see the history of the package, when and where it was created, adjustments made to it, whether it was included on any other manifests, plus any relevant history recorded. Close the manifest information. To receive or reject the transfer manifest, click on the Receive button. At this point, we have the opportunity to perform our quality control check on the packages coming in. We can check to make sure we are getting the product we ordered, that it looks like the quality we were expecting, and the correct quantity is there. After completing our quality control check and weighing the product, click on Receive Quantity to enter the weight from weighing the incoming product. When we weigh the product, we get 227 grams. So we enter that into receive quantity. Since the shipped quantity and the receive quantity do not match, and those numbers are too far apart to be just a scale variance, we're going to reject that package. Click the reject checkbox. We are immediately asked for a rejection reason and a required note. Select incorrect quantity from the list in the drop-down. The origin facility say they sent one quantity. However, we are getting a different quantity for the package. For the required note, we are going to enter 227 grams, not 250 grams. Once you've entered your information, consider giving a courtesy call to the sender of the manifest since they will receive the rejected packages back into their inventory and will be required to enter a rejection reason and a required note. Next, we do our quality control inspection of the second package, the brownies 50 milligrams. The quality is great, the package is intact, and the count is correct. So we can enter the 20 received as indicated in the shipment. Review the information entered. If everything looks correct, click on the Receive Transfer button to process the transfer. Receiving the package of brownies and rejecting the package of Bud's Blue Dream. You can see the transfer at the top has now gone gray, and the manifest has reappeared in the Origin Facilities Rejected Transfers tab. The sender will have to process the transferred package of Bud's Blue Dream back into their license.